Today we will be seeing how to draw the ends of the clock for three different timings. So I have three clocks put up on the board, three models of the clocks and I have the numbers written and I'm going to draw the small hand or the R end as we call it which shows us the R the long hand or the minute or the minute hand which shows us the minute so in my first clock I'm going to mark the timing for number for five o'clock so when it is five o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards number five it points towards the number five and the long hand or the minute hand points towards number 12 so it points towards number 12 so this so we then we read the time as five o'clock so it is five o'clock so when it is five o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards five and the long hand or the minute hand points towards 12 and the time is read as five o'clock now we're moving on to the next timing so now we're going to mark the timing for seven o'clock so when it is seven o'clock the small hand or the R hand points to number seven points to number seven and the long hand or the minute hand points to number twelve so it points to number twelve and we read the time as seven o'clock so when it is seven o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards seven and the long hand or the minute hand points to number twelve and the time is read as seven o'clock now the next time we are going to see is 8 o'clock. So when it is 8 o'clock the small hand or the R hand points towards number 8 and the long hand or the minute hand points towards number 12 and the time is read as 8 o'clock. So it is read as 8 o'clock. So when it is 8 o'clock the small hand or the R hand points to 8 and the big hand or the long hand or the minute hand points to 12 and we read the time as 8 o'clock. So now we have learnt how to write the timings to draw the hands of the clock for the following three timings that is 5 o'clock. When it is 5 o'clock the small hand points to 5 and the minute hand or the big hand points to 12. When it is 7 o'clock the small or the R hand points to 7 and the big hand points to 12. When it is 8 o'clock the small hand or the R hand points to 8 and the big hand points to 12. So these are the way to draw the hands of the clock for the different timings. So children I hope you have understood the concept of how to draw the hands of the clock.